everyone, my name is Angelica Bell and I used to be a presenter on CBBC many moons ago. So the question I have for you is, are you ready for your letters and sounds phonic lesson? Hmm. Hello children, I'm Rachel. Let's start our letters and sounds lesson and learn to read some new words. Let's begin by reading some phonemes that you already know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. Are you ready? This first card says ch and this trigraph says I. Are you ready? Your turn. Go nice and fast today. Amazing, well done. Read them with me. Let's check. Ch I O A A E O Ear A Yo Oi Fantastic. Oh, guess what I'm going to do? You've got it. I am going to mix them up so they're in a different order. And I want to hear you saying the sounds out loud. Are you ready? Great job. Let's check. Read them with me. Your ear. A. E. I. Ch. O. A. O. E. Oi. We are getting so fast at doing that. Super sounds. Well done, children. Now let's read some words with graphemes that we already know. Have a look at this one. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, there it is. What is it? You're right, it's er. Uh. Okay, read each sound as I point and blend to read the word. Do you remember, we split this one up. Okay, let's do it together. H -e -up. Help, er, uh, helper. The helper came in to help me with my reading. Can you spot the digraph here? Yes, you're right. Here it is. Ch now, do you remember that we split this one up as well? Can you remember where? Yes. There we go. This bit first. Try it together. Ch i ld chilled. R e n ren. Children. There were ten children at my party. Okay, next one. No digraphs. Ready. Read it with me. B l i n k. Blink. I always blink when my Somebody takes a photograph. Can you blink your eyes? Show me. Well done. Digraph. Yes, there it is. Shh, ready. Read it with me. Sh, e, l, f, shelf. She put her money box on the shelf in her bedroom. Great reading. Now, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix them up and I want to hear you reading the words aloud, okay? Off you go. Well done. Well done. Let's check. Read them with me. Shelf. Can you remember this one? Children, well done. Did your remitters break it up? Helper. Blink. Great reading, well done. 
Today, we are going to practice reading some longer words with graphemes that we already know. First, let's sound talk some words. Today, I'm going to sound talk two words and then we're going to put them together to make a new word. Copy me. Say the sounds and then see if you can blend the sounds to say the word. Are you ready for this? Okay, first one. W -i -nd. W -i -nd. Your go. W -i -nd. Wind. Next bit. M -i -u. M -i -u. M -i -u. Nil. Now let's put them together. W -i -nd. And m -i -u. Windmill. The wind moved the sails on the windmill. Have you ever seen a windmill? I've got a picture of one here. And the wind moved the sails of the windmill around. Okay, let's try another one. First bit. S -a -nd. S -a -nd. Your go. S -a -nd. Sand. Next bit. P it. P it. Your go. Let's put that together. S -a -nd. Sand. P it. Pit. Sand pit. I love to build castles in the sand pit. Let's try one more. First bit. G -i -ft. G -i -ft. Your go. G -i -ft. Gift. Next bit. Put that together. G -i -ft. Gift. B -ox. Box. Put it together. Gift box. I put the special gift in a gift box. Well done. Now let's read some words. Each time I want you to tell me if you can see a digraph or a trigraph and then say the sound as I point and blend to read the word. Okay, let's look at the first one. Can you see a digraph? You're right, there it is, right at the end. The sound, ooh, well done. Okay, let's read this part first, ready? Now this bit. Put them together. Well done, let's try it together. W -i -nd. Wind, m -i -l, mill, put them together, wind mill. Do you remember my windmill? The wind moves the sails on the windmill. Great reading, well done. Let's try another one. Any digraphs? No, okay, try this bit. And then this bit. Can you put them together? Well done. Let's practice. G -i -ft. Gift. B -ox. Box. Gift box. Oh, he presented his mum with a gift in a gift box. I bet that was special. Okay, let's have a look at this one. No digraphs. Okay, try this bit. And this bit, put them together. Well done. Let's try it together. S -a -nd. Sand, p it, pit, all together. Sand pit. I love making castles in the sand pit. Oh, look at this one. Let's break it up. Let's do this bit first. Okay, well done. 
Now this part, well done. Put them together. Well done. Let's read it together. And hand, st and stand, handstand. <gasps> Have you ever seen anybody do handstands? It's such a great thing to be able to do. Okay, let's try another one. Have a look at this one. Can you see any digraphs? Good spot. It's hidden right in the middle. Look, there we've got ch. Okay. Let's read this part first, ready? Now this part, well done, put them together. Well done, let's read it together. Ooh, uh, n -ch, lunch, b -ox, box, lunch box. Have you got a lunch box? I wonder what you put in it. Okay, last word, have a look at this one. No digraphs in this one. Okay, have a look at this bit first. Well done. Now this part, put it all together. Fantastic. Let's read it together. D -esk, desk. T op top desktop. I wonder if your teacher has a tidy desktop. You'll have to check next time you see. Okay, now I'm going to mix the words up and I want you to have a go at reading them aloud. Okay, I'm going to help you the first time. Let's read them together. Do you remember we did this bit? Desk. Top, desktop. Remember this one? Hand, stand, handstand. Well done. Do you remember this one? Gift, box. Gift box, well done. Can you remember this one? Windmill, well done. Remember this one? Well done. Sand pit. And remember this one? Well done, lunch box, well done. Okay, have a go at reading them on your own this time. Well done. And this one, doing so well. Well done. You got it. Well done. Last one. Great job. Let's check. Read them with me. Desk top. Well done. Desk top. Hand stand. Hand stand. Well done. Gift box, gift box. Wind mill, wind mill. Sand pit, sand pit. Last one. Lunch box, lunch box. Well done. I wonder. Last challenge, do you think you could have a go at reading them a little bit faster? Just a little bit. Are you ready? Well done. Excellent. 
Excellent, well done. Read them with me and we'll check. Desktop. Handstand. Gift box. Windmill. Sand pit. And lunch box. Incredible reading. We are on fire today. Well done. I'm super proud of you for reading those words. Let's learn to read a tricky word. We are going to learn to read the word little. Here it is. Well, the first bit is easy. U, I, T. But the end is tricky because these letters say U. When I read it, I say U, I, T, U. Little. Now read the word with me. U, I, T, U. Little. Awesome. Now read it yourself. What's the word? Sorry, what was that? Did you say little? I think you did. You're right. Yes, the word is U, I, T, U, little. Now let's practice reading a tricky word that you've met before. Have a look at this one. You know how to read this tricky word. Can you remember the tricky bit? Have a good look. Can you remember? You're right, it's here. Can you remember what this tricky bit says? Yes, it says V. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. H, A, V, have. Well done. Now I'm going to mix them up and I want you to read them quickly. Okay, are you ready? Go. One more time. Now let's read them together. Have little. Have little. Well done. Did you get them right? Now let's read some sentences with graphemes that we already know. Can you see any words with digraphs? Have a good look. There's lots of words to look at today, aren't there? Can you see them? We've got U, N, U. Now this one is making the sound S. This one is making the sound Z. Can you see a tricky word that we read today? Can you see it? Can you remember? Little. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember to sound out any words you are not sure of. Off we go. Excellent reading. Now let's read the sentence together. He was filling the little windmill with sand in the sand pit and then he did a hand stand. Brilliant reading. There's a lot of words to read today. Let's read it one more time, just a little bit faster this time. Are you ready? Read with me. He was filling the little windmill with sand in the sand pit 
and then he did a handstand. I wish I could do a handstand. Now, let's read another sentence. Have a look at this one. Can you see any words with digraphs? Ch and oo. Can you see a tricky word that we read today that we already know? Here it is. Can you remember what it says? Have. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember to sound out any words that you are not sure of. Off we go. Excellent reading. Now let's read the sentence together. I put my lunch box on my desk top, but it did not have my food in it. Brilliant reading. Now, let's read it one more time, just a little bit faster this time. Read it with me. I put my lunchbox on my desktop, but it did not have my food in it. Oh no, he forgot to put his lunch in his lunchbox. Wow, let's finish by spelling some words because if you can read a word, then you can have a go at spelling it. You'll need your paper and something to write with. Have you got them? Ready? Fantastic. Let's spell two words with graphemes we already know. Let's spell windmill. Now, let's segment the sounds. Gosh, windmill. Let's do the first bit. Wind, w -i -n -d. and then mill, m -i -u. Mm. Let's count how many sounds there are. W -i -n -d. That's wind, and then m -i -u. mill. How many sounds is that? Seven sounds. Watch me write windmill. And remember, I need seven sounds. W I N D W I N D Wind Mill M, mm. I, and because it's on the end of the word, I need my digraph for the sound all. M, I, U, mill. W, I, N, D, wind. M, I, U, mill. Windmill. Oh, have a good look at that. And now I'm going to hide it. Your turn. Say the word. Say the sounds. And write them down. Remember that digraph on the end. For all. Make sure you've got seven. Give you lots of time to write down all those letters. 
Shall we check? Are you ready? Good job. Here it is. Check yours. W -i -nd. Wind. Have you got that bit? And then m -i -l mill. Windmill. Does yours look just like that? If it does, you are a superstar speller today. Well done. Okay, shall we try another one? Let's spell sand pit. Okay, segment the sounds with me. Sand pit. S -a -nd. Sand. And then p it pit. Oh, should we count how many sounds we've got? Are you ready? Sand pit. S -a -nd. That's sand. And then p it. Seven. Seven sounds again we need. Watch me write sand pit. And remember, we need seven sounds. Are you watching? Sand. Sand. What's the next bit? Pit. You're right. P. I. T. Pit. Sand. Sand. P. It. Pit. Sand pit. Do you think you can do that one? I think you definitely can. I'm going to hide it. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Remember, you need seven sounds again. A long one again, isn't it? Are you ready? Shall we check? Here it is. S -a -nd. Sand. P it. Pit. Sand pit. Does yours look like this? Superstar spelling again then. Well done. Okay. Tricky word time. Let's have a go at spelling the word little. Okay, segment the sounds with me. L, I, T, L. Let's count how many sounds we need. L, I, T, L. That's four sounds. Watch me write little. Well, that first bit's easy for us. L, I, T. I've got the digraph for T. L, I, T. Now, the next bit's tricky because these letters make the sound L. L, I, T, L. Little. Have a good look. I'm going to hide it. Now you have a go. Say the word. Say the sound. What's the tricky bit? The sound of is written with the letters L, E, Write them down. We check. L, I, T, L. 
little. Did you remember this bit? And did you remember this bit? Well done, superstar. Okay, let's try another one. We've spelt the word have before, but let's practice spelling it again. Segment the sounds with me. Have. Mm. Let's count how many sounds we need. Have. Ah. That's three sounds. Watch me write. Have. That bit's easy. Ah! That bit's easy. Next bit's tricky. These two letters say v, a, v, have. Have a good look. I'm going to hide it. Your turn. Say the word. Say the sounds. Shall we check? <gasps> ah, v, have. Does yours look just like this? Fantastic. Well done. You have worked so hard today with your reading and your spelling, and I can't wait to see you next time for another lesson with Letters and Sounds. Bye. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed your letters and sounds lesson. Well done for all your effort. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And why don't you share a lovely story tonight with someone in your family? Enjoy your book, enjoy your evening, and have a wonderful day. Good luck.